Hello everyone and welcome once again to another not commentary video. This time I'm gonna talk about how misdirect and how uh, Rachel uh, missiles work. And as you can see, this is an ongoing match about uh, two random players chosen at uh, random. Basically, uh, I I don't care too much if they are very good, if they are gonna be making mistakes. I I just want to. Uh, to take this uh, as an example of an scenario where I can uh, teach you basically how it works. But anyways, uh, also Storm and Bombol uh, are very interesting in the sense that they have also missiles, but I think if you are able to work around Rachel's missiles, you are gonna be fine and alright against Storm and Bombols since they are much more simpler. But um, let's talk about Rachel, because Rachel is not only um, a missile CO, but uh, she also has, as you can see, uh, normal power, uh, which is not normally used, but you have to keep in mind that it can do a lot of damage, potentially. Uh, for example, if you have a tank on a road, uh, enemy tanks by Rachel will deal up to uh, 99 uh, of damage so if you have weakened tanks like 8, 9 HP it's likely that they die on on a one shot versus enemy tanks and you have not uh, to underestimate her day to day which is um, quite useful in the sense that if you attack into a uh, first strike uh, city tank uh, the enemy tank will counter uh, a strike pretty uh, harder than usual uh, because instead of going down to i don't know uh, 5 hp and then 7 it will go down to 5 6 hp and then to 9 8 and that's quite a big difference but let's focus on the superpower which is the topic of this video uh, there are gonna uh, it's gonna summon three missiles uh, as you can see, uh, each of them is going to deal 3 HP of damage, one is going to uh, target infantry, one is going to target the most amount of damage in terms of HP, and uh, the last one is going to focus value. Okay, how it works exactly? First of all, the missile of uh, infantry, I want to make clear that it doesn't matter the order, uh, uh, what I mean is uh, if a missile uh, drops and then the other one comes and if that uh, minus 3 HP on all the units that it hit would change the scenario, it won't change it in the sense that uh, it doesn't reconsider the placement of uh, missiles between missiles fires. Anyways, how works the infantry? The infantry one will target, uh, first of all, uh, before targeting anything, it will start reading the map from this very tile. What I mean with the, from this very tile is that it will center the missile on this tile. The, the computer, the program, the AI, whatever you want to call it, it's going to think and see, okay, can I uh, put the missile of Rachel here? And since Rachel is uh, red, it will target to infantry, uh, here it will target one, so it will check this as uh, the first, and then here, then here, blah, 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 blah. As you can see, uh, here there is an infantry capping, so it counts as double, so it will change from here to here, and then again. And since there is uh, a, a, a tiebreaker, um, there is a, a draw here, as you can see, if it goes all the way in here, it will count uh, two infantry if it drops here, but this one was read uh, first, it will always uh, target the one that was read first, and it always read the map from left to right, from top to bottom. Anyways, guys, what is the most amount of infantry? Because this missile doesn't consider the amount of HP that the infantry has, if it has one HP and its capping is gonna count as two infantries. So keep that in mind because maybe you want to keep uh, to put your infantries to cap a lap with one HP of um, on fog and, and it will help you to misdirect a missile and maybe you can uh, completely misdirect without any damage on this. Imagine you are able to separate all your infantry and there is no two infantries together. 
but you have one HP infantry capping on the lap. That will drop uh, there then. Uh, also, uh, the HP one. Okay, the HP one uh, will consider if an a unit, an enemy unit, has um, low HP in the sense that if it has two HP, it will consider that you are doing only one HP of damage. If it has one, it will consider you are doing anything, etc. Also, uh, the missile of Rachel cannot can be placed uh, wherever. Uh, that's not the case with a storm. Uh, it has to be centered on a unit. Rachel has not to do that, so keep that in mind also. And the Bali one. The Bali one is the harder to misdirect because you cannot misdirect it with uh, spamming infantry, putting one, uh, putting two or three infantry together near your base, and basically completely uh, uh, tank that damage out of your front lines. As you can see, let's see where it falls because it's gonna fall here and as you can see uh, if it drops here it will target three infantry but one of them is capping so uh, essentially four uh, the other one let, let me go to the um, I have it here the move planner as you can see uh, the move planner is gonna be your best uh, tool against uh, missile users the first we have to do is set us as a red player because is the one that is going to use the power then uh, go to Rachel and then sow missile and as you can see we only see two missiles that means that um, two of them are falling on the same place to know where they are falling you have to move over without clicking be careful uh, the mouse on the apply power and it will tell you the coordinates as you can see HP and cost one is falling in the same area which is uh, this one uh, it's gonna target three tanks and two infantries and that's basically uh, 13 HP of damage and a lot of value uh, three tanks and if you were able to for example move this infantry away as you can see it changes the the target so you have to play around this and let's take a look uh, um, about the turn because this is the turn where it drops but what could have done um, mr. Jake uh, the enemy player in order to um, to to make it happen because as you can see uh, he attacked with the seal power and let, let, let's see because he did a lot of damage so uh, the problem is it's fog, so he won't be able, but he perfectly uh, could have, uh, let's see, um, for example, this infantry, uh, I'm assuming it was on this mountain, so you could have put these two infantry here, and this copter was on the airport, right? So you can put it one, two, three, four, five, six here, and as you can see, there is four units here and if you move these two each HP infantry uh, away let's say here I don't know where it goes but now since there is a tie on the HP uh, it will drop here because these were read first so it's very important to make this because now a 7 HP copter can still deal with uh, tanks and three infantry is getting hit it's no uh, not very important so mm, you want to keep that in mind maybe you uh, what you can even de delete this unit if you really need it because you cannot move it away um, you can also you have this um, this black boat so instead of, of, of doing this you can um, let me refresh the, the page you can uh, for example uh, use this black boat here uh, put this uh, artillery here this infantry I am assuming it was here so uh, let's move it back here and now let's see where uh, the Rachel missile would drop uh, for some reason let me do this let's see see now uh, the um, the HP one if I am correct no the cost one is gonna drop here but the HP one is uh, still falling here so what you have uh, you need to do is this 2 HP uh, infantry which is uh, making use as lightly so there is five uh, units here uh, four, four units but there is one HP of damage extra 
So if you move it away or you delete it, it will fall two of them here. And as you can see, now there is only one missile falling into these infantries, which it might be annoying because you are capturing this city, but uh, two missiles are going to drop here and it's completely fine. Uh, you will delay this airport, which is annoying, but let's let's assume that you are not capturing this airport. Uh, it would not change uh, the, the area of impact and uh, you are hitting one black boat, which is completely fine. You don't care about your transport getting hit too much. Maybe you might have uh, to pay for them in the future, but that's fine. It's not and the the anti-air it's gonna get reaper and it's gonna go up to uh, 7 hp which is completely fine uh, still super usable to kill copters and the artillery yes it's gonna fall to 3 hp and you will have to repair it i mean it's gonna uh, go up to six sorry because i was thinking about uh, ritual reapers but anyway uh, you will have to to repair some of them but it's completely fine uh, you better um, get hit uh, on the back lines, the, rather on the front lines, because if you get hit on the front lines, let's see what it happens back here. And now um, it, the the missile just drop, as you can see uh, here. And now uh, Rachel is going to be able to get uh, those uh, hits. If this um, if the missile didn't uh, uh, fall here, this tank would have survived at uh, 6, uh, 5, 4 HP, whatever it does the engagement. But now uh, you lose that unit and it's a unit count you lose. So that's the, the main reason you want uh, the, the missiles falling on the back lines uh, to avoid getting the, the finishing blows. Because global damage, uh, I consider any power that does damage, even missiles, all of all of those are um, are never gonna be able to finish off units. So staying at one HP, uh, if you are someone like Hulk or or Andy, is gonna be wonderful for you because you are gonna be able to repair those units. But e even if you are any other CO, 1 HP unit is going to be able to do cheap damage to break a wall, is going to be able to be a blocker, is still going to be able um, to get repair and be on the front lines in 2 to 3 turns and do something. So yeah, it's very important uh, to not lose those units. And each fog also is going to be able to give vision or be a great wall on a forest because uh, a 1 HP infantry on a forest is going to need 2 uh, units to get rid of it unless you are Sonya powers. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I I think uh, it, it was uh, a nice example on how to do it. If you are curious about how this match ends, I can put uh, the link on the description. And, but uh, that was not the purpose of the video. Anyways, guys, um, I think that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was it. Thank you. Thank you for watching, guys.